Hey there, I am back with another deck review, and today I'm going to be looking at Fauna from John Carrer and Brain Vessel. Brain Vessel is a gallery up in Pennsylvania, and they, in addition to their work featuring artists in their gallery, decided to go after what they call their artist series of playing cards. This is the third in the series. Uh, the first one was actually this one, which I featured on my channel before, the Bones deck from artist Jason Krieger. Uh, but it's giving a chance for artists to put their work into a deck of cards. And they featured, uh, like I said, this is their third one uh, from artist John Kerr. John's a fantasy artist also based out of Pennsylvania. So obviously he's been featured in their gallery before, but he does this really vibrant, beautiful artwork uh, that features a lot of nature and trees and plants within his work. Uh, this particular deck, Fauna, is inspired by the animal life. Uh, so let's take a look at it, see how it came to life. Uh, it was a Kickstarter release, comes in two different editions, the Vibrant Edition and the Veiled Edition here on the left. Uh, they're really going after different aspects of animal life. So the Vibrant is going after the elements that want to be seen, revealed uh, within nature, and the Veiled kind of explores a little bit more of the hidden uh, side of nature. Uh, so we're going to take a look at it starting here with the Vibrant Edition. The tuck case itself, uh, it is a matte feel to it. It actually has this pearl finish on it. It says Fauna in this uh, very natural, almost like sticks forming up the words up here at the top. A vibrant edition and smaller banner underneath. And then you have John's artwork featured very prominently here with that white fox curled up in the, uh, in the underbrush here with sort of small trees or plants growing up over him. Got John's signature there in the corner. It's really cool, a little bit on the dark side, I would say, for Vibrant. Uh, but what I really like about this is the look of that pearl finish on this one. And it's hard to have this show up on camera, but as I tilt it this way, you can see it almost has a glow. It's this pearl, almost a little bit bronze, almost, I would say, which when you think about sunlight or the glow of sunlight is a really cool addition onto this deck. So I really like that finish. Hope that shows up to you guys, but very, very nice. Uh, on the sides here, you've got Brain Vessel Artist Series with John's signature. And that's the same thing you're going to see on all the decks. Let me pull the uh, the Bones one back here. But here's the Bones one for Jason Krieger. So same idea, just has the artist signature there on the side. Same thing on the other side. Bottom's going to be your ad copy for Brain Vessel and USPCC who printed the deck. And then on the top, you have all of these different leaves uh, coming through here. Uh, and that extends all the way down the flap here. Uh, back's going to be the back design of the cards that we'll take a look at in a second. And then you have the custom brain vessel seal. You're going to see on all their decks, it is a vessel or a ship where the bottom is a brain, so brain vessel. Uh, a little bit more leaf work on the inner flaps here. And then the interior print is all solid, what they call emerald foil, although to me it looks more of a bright teal uh, than it does emerald or green. Uh, but a cool, very unexpected brightness as you open up the inside of the of the tuck as well. So that is the really nice tuck. Love the artwork. Love the finish on it. I think it's really well done and fits really well with the nature theme. But let's take a look at the cards, and we'll start with the back. And here it is. It is, you can see where Vibrant comes in. It's a very, very bright look to it. So on either side here, you've got this squirrel. If you zoom in, you can see the squirrels hoarding these little acorns there, uh, kind of hiding in the middle of all of these vines that are just wrapping all the way around him. And then you have these really brightly colored leaves. And those leaves, the different colors, are going to represent the different suits. You can kind of see if you're going closer here, but you've got the darker green of the club-shaped clover. You have the hearts on these red leaves. The yellows are the diamonds, and then these blue ones here are the spade-shaped leaves. So the leaves themselves are kind of in the shape of the four different suits. But it's a really very uh, vibrant and natural feel to the artwork. It does have a border around it, but there's so much vine work that it just feels very organic all the way around. Uh, so you don't get that really sharp border, but it is a thin uh, border going all the way around. I'm going to zoom in so you can see just some of that artwork going all the way down. So really cool artwork on the back design of these cards. Uh, extra cards that you get. You do get two jokers. Uh, they both feature this kind of ferret or mouse or whatever this is here. You've got one brown, one white, and these are kind of your red and black jokers. 
The red is going to be surrounded by leaves that are represented by what we looked at as the red suits, so the red heart-shaped leaves, and then the yellow diamond-shaped leaves. And then on the black joker, you have the green clover or uh, club leaves, and then the blue spade-shaped leaves, shaped leaves. So more really cool artwork. This one looks like it's a little bit more in the day, and then the white one is a little bit more in the night or dusk kind of time frame. And then in the other corners, opposite of where the Joker Joker is, you have just this little flower featured there. It's a really nice, more beautiful artwork on these. You get two ad cards, one for Brain Vessel, uh, talking about their shop, uh, their gallery up in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. And then another one featuring John Carrer and his artwork. So you can go to johncarrer.com to see more of his really beautiful artwork. Now the rest of the deck, it's gonna be a full custom deck. So we're gonna to get to see more of this artwork built all the way through. Uh, there's not a traditional power ace. You can see all four aces have this really similar design, but they feature the leaf on them. So you've seen that all four leaves are gonna be in different colors. So the spades are gonna be in this bright blue leaf with this nice twisting vine covered in thorns all the way down. You have the custom index there in the corner, similar font to what we looked at in the tuck case, almost like it's made of blue sticks. And then you have the spade pip here in the corner. Again, another leaf with vines kind of twisting down to make a cool little border. Uh, the number cards are going to feature that same leaf, just with less vines on it, but that same spade leaf. Uh, somewhat normal orientation of the pips, but obviously they're full custom design all the way through. Now, when you get to the six and some of those, you're going to get a little bit more of an interesting placement. And those vines are going to start showing up again uh, to kind of bring a few of those uh, leaves together and you can see how they kind of get really twisted in there as you get to the nine and the ten and then your core cards are going to feature as the name of the deck finally suggests you're going to get a feature of different animals now each one of the different suits represents a different set of characteristics in animals uh, so according to john this one the spades look at uh, animals that feature wit intellect uh, sharpness and calculated so you can see that like the intellect, for example, of an owl or a mouse or the sharpness of the rabbit of the jackrabbit there. Uh, they're all going to be smaller, reflected on both sides. So you get a two way court card and then you have a field of spade shaped leaves and other blue flowers kind of running down as a banner down the middle. I have the custom index in the corner and then the other corner is going to feature another oversized version of that spade leaf, if you will. Uh, going to the diamonds now, we go to the yellow diamond shaped leaf. And again, same idea. You got the leaf here with that brown vine going through. And then same thing, leaves are going to be those yellow diamond pips. And then as you get to the higher numbers, you start to get them a little bit connected with some of those branches and vines going through as well. And then here are your courts. So the diamond courts are going to represent strength, boundaries, abundance, and nurturing. Uh, you can see the strength of the brown bear there. Uh, the queen bee and the badger over on the right. And then their background is going to feature a lot of that yellow leaf going all the way through. Now we switch over to a darker kind of a green uh, for the clubs. Uh, the characteristics representing the clubs, creativity, depth, illusion, and magic. These are a lot more dark and veiled characters here. All of them are kind of black almost with the raven, the black wolf, and then the shadowy a deer there in the background and so a lot darker feel to these compared to the uh, previous suits we've been looking at uh, but these are some of my favorite artwork i really like the uh the the deer here or the the buck in the background and then the green clovers and then you can see how those come together on the suits i really like you know it's 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 just very you can feel each one's very different you know some of them are kind of bent and crooked it's really well done on the clubs and then there's your ace of clubs. You can see the club feature larger there. And then last but not least are your hearts, which are going to be compassion, love for kin, emotions, and connection to cycles. And you can feel the cycles very strongly with the butterfly. And then you've got the frog over on the right and that red fox going through the underbrush on the left with a jack. Uh, so very bright, a lot of pinks and reds, which kind of fit in with those red heart-shaped leaves. And then down through your numbers and course your ace of hearts and there it is red with the green stem or vine going down so really beautiful artwork they fan and handle very very well as you've come to expect from usbcc decks 
So no complaints in that department. Uh, before we close up, let's take a quick look at the Veiled Edition. Uh, the Veiled Edition is going to be similar on the cards. The tuck's going to be a little bit different. So now the front's going to feature this deer uh, with the horns kind of twisting through and hiding back in the brush over here, just kind of poking its head out. Uh, otherwise, most of the rest of the tuck is going to be pretty much the same. It also features that beautiful uh, bronze tinted uh, pearl finish. Uh, the and then you have the back design on the back as well. The interior here now is going to be a little bit lighter. So whereas the other one was kind of a dark teal, this is a really light, a uh, lot lighter color here. And then as you open it up, uh, the backs of the cards are going to be completely different. So I like these a lot. I think when I first saw this, you know, you've got the stream running through here with the vines growing across, smaller leaves peppering in all the way through. If you zoom in, you can see that they're kind of in the shape again of the suit. So you have the spades and clubs and this kind of dark blue color. And you've got hearts and diamonds in that red. Uh, but when I first saw this, I thought this was almost like a tentacle coming through here. But it's actually a uh, like a lizard. You can see the head of the lizard here twisting down to the tail. You see his little legs coming out here. Uh, so a very cool kind of a salamander or a lizard kind of hidden, almost melded into this twist of vines. So really beautiful. The background on this one is going to be a little bit lighter. So whereas this one was kind of a tan or just off white, this is going to be more of a traditional white background to the cards. And then you can flip it over. The card art itself on the faces is going to be the same as what we looked at before. No different. Um, same color scheme, same or sorry, same card uh, design on all of these. But the key difference is going to be one, the background is going to be a lighter white, whereas it was kind of off white on the other ones. And the color of the suits is going to change a little bit. So whereas we had four different bright, vibrant colors on the other one, on this one, you're going to have a more of a traditional red and black. So the black cards are going to be in this dark blue. And then as I come through, the red cards are going to be a more traditional red. Uh, so you get a little bit more traditional coloring on these um, and a little bit less, um, as you might expect, a little bit less vibrant of a color compared to the vibrant deck. Uh, but otherwise, a lot of the card art is really the same. So that's it. That's the two different decks from Fauna. I think they're really beautiful decks. I think their decks would be great for a lot of different uses. Uh, but really, you know, it's the artist series. So I think the best use for it is really just an appreciation for that art. You could certainly use these for magic, gameplay, uh, cardistry. They handle well uh, and they kind of would work well in those routines. But really just an appreciation of the art. I think uh, Kara did a phenomenal job with his artwork. It really is kind of right up my alley. So hope you enjoy these. Let me know what other decks you want to see, uh, other you know unboxings or anything like that. Always looking for more content for the channel. Uh, subscribe for more deck reviews and unboxings, and I'll see you for the next one.